Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome. My name is Nurse Richard the Wax Wizard. Thanks for joining me for episode 166. Um, so, three ears in this for you today. Um, thanks for those who um, have sent me a lot of messages. I'm uh, hoping I had a nice holiday. I guess I had a week off last week. Um, and yes, it was very nice to have some family time. Now, I did leave some videos for you uh, to enjoy uh, while I was off. I even think of you when I'm not here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed those. I believe a lot of you did watch uh, one of them in particular, went particularly long because the one where I saw um, the 99 year old fella, um, that went really bonkers. So if there's any new followers or new subscribers who found me as a result of watching that one, then hello, where have you been? You've got a lot of catching up to do. Um, I've been here for ages, but thanks for finding me eventually anyway. Now this one, uh, this is the finding tube that I'm using here. That's the smaller of the two tubes reason I'm using that is because it's mostly uh, dead skin uh, in this removal as you can see there and you can just see the little ripples in fact of the skin on that one when it comes out look at that really nice clear shot that so it ripples as the ear is uh, shedding itself it's slowly moving sideways out of the ear now these are my fav favorite kind of skin peels these because you it kind of comes away without you even needing to go in the ear <laughs> that deep at all um, so that came away really nicely I think that's the last one. Let's have a look what it looks like there. There you go, beautiful, shiny, clear ear canal. Fresh as a daisy. Um, second one, it's like jelly, it's like earwax jelly, it's jellified. Um, I did use that word a while ago and I wasn't even sure if it was a proper word, but apparently somebody did send me a message that jellified is a proper word. <laughs> so, so thanks for that. So let's call this jellified earwax. Uh, it's not completely blocked, this one. Um, but because you can already see a little bit of the edema in the distance, but uh, don't get me wrong, this stuff still needs to go. And there's a little bit in the distance there that will grab the fine, uh, get the fine in tube with, and just grab that because it's a bit nearer to the eardrum. Um, I thought I'd give my two penneth worth on a few things that have been happening lately because I know a lot of you who watch my channel will watch um, um, other channels uh, who do earwax removal as well, uh, as do I. We can all learn a lot from each other. Um, and uh, you'll be aware that, those of you who've seen it anyway, you'll be aware that uh, Neil has got a, a campaign going to, um, to change the way earwax training is provided in the UK. And I'm fully behind him on this. I'm fully aware of what's going on. So for those who don't know, what's happened is there's some companies who are providing training courses to people who have no healthcare experience. And sometimes it's just a one-day course, a two-day course. And you could be from any walk of life. You could be a plumber, a painter, a decorator, anything. You can do this do this course and then you can be accredited by this particular membership body. I'm not going to name any of these membership bodies or the companies. And then you can go out and do this kind of thing. Um, which, in my opinion, as it is with Niels and many others of us who do this kind of thing, it's absolutely bananas. It's bonkers and it's it's just plain wrong. It's just plain wrong. It's, it's just not safe at all. You know, I, I, I've been trained for about 20 years. Uh, before I started the business on my own because I worked in public health you know we worked shorter training there because even after we got training we had to do we had to be supervised by somebody more experienced for a very long time and then I subsequently had to supervise and train other people as well um, so my training is all up to date so do not worry about that um, but it's just wrong that uh, somebody can do this without being uh, suitably trained um, so if you are in the UK or anywhere in the world I'd say do your due, due, due diligence, which means have a look at the, um, the qualifications of these people who you're, um, who you're thinking of getting, thinking of getting to seem to be treated for, for your earwax because there's no way in a day or two you can learn everything there is to know about ears. Um, you know, there's, there's the pathologies, the, the problems that you can encounter, the difficult procedures, the non-routine procedures which are, uh, can be quite dangerous. Um, but in the wrong hands, these kind of instruments, they can do some serious damage. So please, if you want to uh, support his campaign, then feel free to go to Neil's channel. And I think he's put an online poll on there. So would, would, would you be happy for somebody with two, two, one or two days experience with no healthcare experience to uh, put these things inside your ear? I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be no for most of them. Um, but go, I encourage you to go to his channel. And uh, the more support we get behind his campaign, uh, the better. And it's, it's all for the better care of you guys, the public. So uh, we're hoping that something can get changed in the not too distant future. But anyway, thanks for watching um, and I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye bye.